you had said you didn't want to. Uh, you said jerking the wheel would be a, it would be a disservice, you know, changing things in offense. Uh, how are things coming along just as far as like continuing to maintain the balance, the play action, the running, the, the different things that you might be featuring? Yeah, you know, I think it's a, a work in progress. I think the new additions here are getting a little bit more comfortable, and you know, we're figuring out some of their skill sets as well. And so, uh, you know, we expect improvement in, in all areas, not just from the new guys, but but the uh, guys have been around here as well. And you know, I think we're uh, we're heading in the right direction that way. How much of an issue? You find it a little more difficult to you know work play action and some of the things that you have been able to do previously with when Henry was in the lineup. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say it, it was. Uh, because him in the lineup, we just didn't get into drives as frequently as we did in the previous games, you know. And so we've had this discussion before, but it's hard to hit all your play passes and get that going when you don't have sustained opportunities, you know. Do you uh, feel good about how you adjust on the fly when you get late news about something like Lalonde and, and have to adjust maybe what you can and cannot do on the left side? Yeah, there's some challenges, you know, and there's some things that we have to work through in the early parts of the game. Um, but, yeah, I feel confident, you know, whether – was a tie in Seattle, you know, or Bobby uh, in L.A. You know, I think that those are, um, you know, situations that w- that we've handled fairly well. The issue was not having either of your fullbacks Sunday, too. Yeah, we uh, we preach versatility around here, you know, and so being able to get Jeff back there and doing some fullback jobs and, you know, using some different people in different spots uh, is something that we're used to doing. Uh, you know, certainly like to have a full complement of guys when we have the the uh, benefit of, of you know having that fullback on the roster, but uh, we had to adapt and adjust. When you saw your running backs on, on Sunday, and, and I guess overall, what are some of the, some of the, the positive negatives from what you saw from that group? I think there was a little rust being knocked off, you know, uh, and I, I, I would say that they ran hard. I'd say that they were physical. They tried to push piles, uh, you know, and, and I think it's a, a natural – kind of progression for them to uh, look to improve in, in a lot of technique areas and, and all that this week. So excited to see them take a step forward. Did Deontay trip on his own on that one? And I mean, was there a lot more there if he hadn't? I don't know if I'll say it. You know, there's a lot of bodies in there. It's a physical game. Um, but, you know, certainly uh, would have liked to see him pop out of the backside of it. Yep. The running backs you, you guys have available, would you like someone to emerge as a lead guy? Or, or are you kind of comfortable going with that? By committee approach, or, or does it even really matter? Yeah, I think I think we feel some comfort either way. You know, certainly you'd love to see somebody just you know grab the reins and and uh, take off with it. Uh, you know, and if that happens and, and somebody separates themselves from the pack, then we'll gladly uh, feed the hot hand. Uh, but until then, you know, I, I feel confident in anybody that we put in a Titans jersey out there on Sunday, going out and executing to our expectations. Jeff Swaim's production uh, jump up last couple weeks, catches and, and TDs also. Any, you know, is that uh, by design or is that just just happening or, or uh, you know, any anything to that uh, increased production? I wouldn't say that there's uh, you know some you know crazy effort to to get him uh, touches in the pass game. What I would say is that he's been improving each week in the run game, and that leads to some opportunities uh, in other areas of the game. You know, sometimes we. We fall in the trap of thinking that the play pass has to be a, a quick hitter to AJ or a you know down the field shot to somebody. It can be an extension of the tight ends production as well. So, uh, you know, I think it's been a little bit of a mix. How, how important is it for you guys to get like that second uh, consistent receiving presence besides AJ? You know, maybe take some of the pressure off him a little bit. Yeah, I think consistency at any position is critical to sustain you know success, and I think that. Uh, that's that's been something that we've been harping on with our guys is how consistent can you be, regardless of who it is. But uh, obviously, when you have a chance to work on the other side of the field from AJ, uh, you know we expect and and look for uh, you know a pretty dependable product over there. That said, what, what's Julio's the logical guy there? What's what's the logical progression? Yeah, I think um, like anybody else who's you know had had some time uh, out there and some time not out there, you know, uh, consistency and and kind of finding your groove and your rhythm, uh, you know, is a process. And I think that he's been really committed to trying to uh, work through uh, his process in that vein, and and uh, excited about where he's at. And hopefully, we can continue to take strides. Jeff, given you more than expected as as a pet pass catcher, just what has it been like to see him? Uh, you know, guy known as just kind of um, in line, run, run blocking to kind of be a target uh, weapon for you guys in the passing game. 
Yeah, I wouldn't say more than I expected. You know, working with him last year um, firsthand, you know, I saw his ability to, to catch the ball outside the frame of his body and use his hands well. And he has a, a savviness to him as a route runner. Uh, you know, so it, it didn't surprise me uh, to see him uh, produce. But again, I, you know, I think that that's a byproduct of his hard work in the run game and, and being available, uh, you know, in some other types of schemes. Priest your group, I guess, this week going through the defense and been really good and doesn't give up a lot of points yeah message doesn't change it's it's about what we do you know we need to execute we need to be on the details of our assignment uh regardless of who's across the ball from us and uh, that couldn't be any more true this week uh you know as we go to play an opponent you know that we obviously don't see too often and and uh you know does some different things schematically when you're going against a team like that that's so good against the run is that more patience because I mean I would imagine it's very important to you to establish that you still want to run the football. Yeah, I, I would say that you need to understand that there's um, you know going to be some tweaks and adjustments that need to go on early, you know, and maybe some things that uh, you, you liked on tape or liked on paper and uh, and you know just isn't fitting in the uh, early part of the game. So I think there's a patience there uh, for sure, um, but also I think you know that. We set an expectation. We keep that level of that expectation regardless of who we play. So it's more about how we go out and execute than it is how they've performed against the run in the past. Got those 25 carries, I guess, but I think they averaged 1.4 yards. Can it be more about the carries than the yards against these guys, depending on how you manage it? Yeah, I think, you know, the, the whole theory of shots on goal, right? You know, getting uh, more opportunities. Uh, to make those adjustments, those in-game adjustments, let guys kind of get into the rhythm of the game, um, you know, and, and hit their groove a little bit, um, you know, and, and then obviously the game situation dictates that a little bit as well, you know, whether uh, you're playing with a lead or, or whether you're in a grind or, or playing from behind. From your perspective, what, what what didn't work out about Josh Reynolds? Because it seemed like he was brought in to be, a you know, initially a, a pretty big part of the offense and obviously injuries and different things, but now he's not on the team. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'll uh, I'll leave the personnel uh, matters up to the powers that be. I'll just tell you that my experience with Josh, you know, he he came in and worked, and um, you know, it just kind of fell victim to a numbers game. Uh, AJ had a couple drops the other night. Is that something you just chalk up? You know, it's going to happen once in a while. There's nothing to worry about. Yeah, even some of the guys are the best hands I've been around. I'll have the occasional drop. It's just you know, it's it's pro football. You get in. Different environments, different tracking, uh, tracking the ball becomes harder in different places. You know, uh, all sorts of things go into that. Uh, we know AJ has great hands, and there's nobody more confident in his ability to catch the ball than we are. When you guys are are down, you know, like two or three starters on the O line, like like you were, how much does that affect the passing game in terms of you know how quickly the ball has to come out, and, and maybe even how deep the the routes are run. I think you need to make natural adjustments there, you know, and understand some of the matchups that you're dealing with. But I would say that falls uh, more on my responsibility, you know, to make sure that I'm I'm giving answers there and uh, trying to make adjustments if we notice where they maybe are moving a, a defender or, you know, playing them different than a, an alignment that we saw on tape. Um, you know, and, and you're going to deal with that uh, throughout the course of every game. It may not be because there's not a starter in there. It may be because, you know, somebody on the other side of the ball is having a a hot game, you know, so, um, you know, we, we make those adjustments throughout the course of the season and, you know, Sunday night was no different.